Today, in Rome, a delegation from the Eastern Orthodox Patriarch in Constantinople and new archbishops from around the world will gather at St. Peter's Basilica. Pope Francis will place on each of the new archbishops the pallium, a vestment of wool that indicates they are in union with the Pope and are called, like Jesus the Good Shepherd, to carry the flock they serve on their shoulders. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and given the state of the world and the battles the Church is facing, there's a strong temptation to give in to fear. Pope Francis addressed this temptation on this feast as he referred to the first reading at Mass from the Acts of the Apostles, where Peter was freed from prison by an angel. Pope Francis said, when Peter began his ministry to the Christian community of Jerusalem, great fear was still in the air because of Herod's persecution of members of the church. There had been the killing of James and then the imprisonment of Peter himself in order to placate the people. While Peter was imprisoned and in chains, he heard the voice of the angel telling him, get up quickly, dress yourself and put on your sandals, put on your mantle and follow me. The chains fell from him and the door of the prison opened before him. Peter realized that the Lord had rescued him from the hand of Herod. He realized that the Lord had freed him from fear and from chains. Yes, the Lord liberates us from every fear and from all that enslaves us so that we can be truly free. Today's liturgical celebration expresses this truth well in the responsorial psalm, the Lord has freed me from all my fears, end quote. Do you have fears for yourself, for your family, for our nation, for our church? Don't let them overwhelm you, but turn to the Lord who is merciful and all-powerful.